In this video, we're going to clean a hacked website from a subscriber who reached out to me. If you follow my step-by-step -step instructions, you might be able to clean your own website. We're gonna start right now. So the first thing we do is actually check if your website really has been hacked. How do you know that? Well, if you try to reach your website and this is what you see, there's something wrong. But what you really need to check is go into Google over there, type in site, and then you type in your URL without www like this. Feedforlifestyle.com and I press Google search. This is weird. Ungerechtigkeit Latein chronisch. What is this? This is not supposed to be here. This is Dutch, so that's okay. We'll go to the next one. This is oh, redirects to Amazon.com. So they created the blog. I can see what's going on here. All right, so there's definitely something going on with this website. I asked my subscriber for the hosting login. So we're going to log into the hosting page right now. Well, we're at the hosting company, so let's log in over there. Let's find out what we will see over here. We go to the dashboard, I think. So I'm looking for some kind of cPanel, but oh, oh, it's just this. That's okay. Let's go to FTP access. So the first thing we need to look inside of the website, what is actually going on. To do this, I'm going to use FTP. If you have no experience with FTP, just follow this tutorial and I'll show you step by step how to install it, how to use it and how to get access to your own server. Very easy. Just follow the steps. All right. Now we are inside of the website. Let's go to web space in this case. Let me make this a little bit bigger for you guys. And then you need to go to HTTP docs. Let's see what's in here. Then we have a WordPress installation, I think. Yes. All right. This looks good. Let's save it. All right. Then we have WP admin content includes. This is a normal WordPress installation, which looks actually pretty fine. Let's scroll down a bit. What we see over here, nothing really strange. But when I try to reach the website, this is what we see database connection. If you go over here, it is actually inside of this file. So we're going to view and edit it, right click, and then you open up some kind of editor. In this case, we have all this. This looks actually pretty good. Let's see if it still connects to the database. And then I go into the hosting and I'm going to look for the, I need to find a way how to get my PHP database information from here. And I scroll down. And in here, we can see the database name. Let's see if this still works. I'm going to copy this one. Name is actually the same. And I'm going to paste it. Yes, it is the same. So that's great. And then we just go database information over there. Be great. Now we have the database name. And we have to see if the user is still okay. Let's check this user. User is great. And now when you edit the user, you can also change the password. So I'm going to create a really safe password. I'm going to save it. So now we have a new password for our database. We're going to fill it in over here. Database password. Paste it in. I'm going to blur this out, of course, in the video. I'm going to save this file and go back to FileZilla. If I now go back, my FileZilla will say a file has been changed. wpconfig.php. Do you want us to upload it? Yes, of course. Press yes. And I'm curious if the website is working again. Let me go to the database error. Let's press F5. It's doing something. So let's see what's happening. Here we are. All right. So the website has been restored now. We, now we can actually log into the website again and it works. Great. Let's go. I think it's the owner of the website in here. Yeah. Debbie. Nice Debbie. Great website. All right. We're going to log in the website and see if there are still traces of the hack because I don't see it right now, but I could be wrong. What are we going to do? We're going to log into this WordPress website. We're going to do this with WPS. I think it's still WP admin. Let me see. Yeah, that's not pretty safe, but we're going to fix that later on for this guy. We're going to log in with the username they have given me. Let me see. Let me see. Where are we? The username is still admin. No wonder why she has been hacked because it's just a matter of time. If you're using WP admin with the username admin, that's just waiting for you to get hacked. Let's press login. Let's see what we're going to find over here. All right. This looks, this looks okay. The first thing I'm going to do is go to users, all users and check for any users. They're not supposed to be here. And if they are check them and just press delete. Also make sure to change your own admin password just to be sure. 
find nothing wrong here. Let's go to posts. Now let's see over here if we can find something weird that's not supposed to be here. We have only have 30 options, so we could be doing this pretty quick. All right, in here I can only see normal pages. Just, these are just legitimate pages, posts. Nothing strange in here. So this is great, all right? Then we go to the pages, all pages, and see if we see any weird pages in here that's not supposed to be there. There are only 18 pages, so that should be really easy. All legit pages, nothing wrong here. Then we go to plugins. Let's see if we have any malicious plugins in here. So we have a few updates, but they're not really extremely old. So it doesn't seem to me that this is the way they got hacked. I don't actually see anything weird stuff in here. So this actually looks kind of great, but there could be some stuff still going on. Next step now is to update all plugins and all themes because it might be possible that they are still an open gate for hackers. So we're going to select it all and press update plugins. We can actually try to open the theme file editor while we are waiting. Let's see if this hosting company enables us to also edit the theme while updating. Yes, it works. What I want to see is actually if some malicious files has been added to the cadence, to the cadence. To the cadence, 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 cadence theme. How do you call it? I don't know. First thing you go do is check the footer.php. Sometimes you see here some weird things. Header.php. Nothing strange. Some hooks, but they're okay. Normal, I think. I can't see anything weird. All right, let's go back to why is this giving me a gateway timeout? Hmm, something fishy is going on. Let's go back to updates. The cadence theme, let's update it. All right, let's go to themes and let's see which themes we already have in here. What's this? 2015 Del Cuero Now this looks fishy. All right, let's go check this theme, what this actually is. A 2015 by Anonymous. Hmm, I think we're onto something. Let's get back to FileZilla. We go to WP Content because this is the place where all your, your themes and your plugins are. Go in here. We go to Themes. Ooh. Now we have found something malicious because this file is not supposed to be here. Here we got something, guys. Let's see what this is. View Edit. Hmm. Yes, that's code. All right, all right. URL decode, yes. Whenever you see something like URL decode and then they got a key in here, that means they're going to inject some code which cannot easily be detected, but it can be decoded if you have the right key with this one. Then you can see what's actually going on inside of your website. So this is definitely a malicious theme injected by some automated system or a hacker. Let's see what we can find any further in this website. In themes, we also have another one in here. And this is also suspected. What is suspected file? Now we can see that there is a evil code in here. The evil base64 decode hack is a PHP code execution attack which is clouded by a base64 encoding scheme to hide the malicious code. Now we know what they did with the website. They placed some themes inside of the WordPress website. Of course, you can clean this up by selecting this and just delete it over there. However, I still want to know what this is. So we're not going to delete it right now, but we're going to run a scan on the website. What are we going to do? We go to plugins over here. We're going to add new. For scanning your website, I always use WordFence. We're going to install WordFence. Then we press activate. Get your WordFence license over here. We're going to click on get a free license over here. I'm waiting 30 days, no problem. Enter your email address over there. DAWPressDoctor.com. And I don't want to have the alerts to my email and I press register over here. And then we need to check our email for the license key. Here we are. Just click on this button and then it's going to install the license automatically. Really great. Here we are. Install license. Congratulations. Let's go to our dashboard. Now press close this one and then we go to the WordFence scan over here. What we're going to do right now is press start new scan. 
WordFence will now start scanning the entire site. So now we can get a real clear image of how big this hack actually is, what kind of files they'll be using. We're just gonna let this scan run. And I think it's gonna take a little bit of time before the scan completes. Also in the plugins, we can see some malicious files. These are all legitimate, legitimate, legitimate. And then we find something. What's this? This is actually a generated file by an automated bot. If we follow all these files in here, again, this is just the normal files that we saw earlier on with a evil decode base 64 again. So we have malicious themes and malicious plugin that needs to be removed from this website before hackers can access it again. Okay, the results are in and if we scroll down now, we can see that yes, of course, the malicious files has been filed. Just like I showed you in the themes folder and the plugins folder. If you click on details, this is a backdoor PHP file, malicious backdoor using XOR obfuscation. Nice. PHP URL decode, yes, full. a backdoor known as REVALC. And let me see where this is actually. Those are the plugins we already saw and the themes, of course. But then we have a plugins background image cropper. Hmm. Is it a legitimate plugin? Let me see if this is actually a legitimate plugin. WP content, plugins, background image cropper. They fooled me. I thought it was a legitimate plugin, but it is not. Mm. Uh, or it was and it has been infected. That could also be. They just placed a file in here. All right, let me go down here to the themes again. What is this? Is this a obfuscation inclusion technique? Yes, of course, we know. Again, malicious code. And what is this? Suspicion code construct. Yes. Obfuscated file uploading behavior. Nice. Suspicious code, suspicious code. File often seen on infected files. BH print upload nothing. Mm. And again, suspicious code, obfuscated, decoding behavior resembling malicious behavior. Yes, that's what I thought. Also this, wow, there are a lot of things. Look at this, great. And all in the places I plug in post layouts. Oof. Another plugin. You're also in the plugin Skirky. Kirky packages, yes, they have just placed all kind of files on all kind of plugins, happy Elementor add-ons, post layouts. And then we are at the root of the problem. The plugin background image cropper seems to be abandoned. Last update, 30 March 2020. This plugin seems to be abandoned, so that's a big security risk. The next step is scroll all up and we're gonna press this button, delete all deletable files. Click on it and press delete files. Here we go. 20 files deleted successfully. Close it. Then we're gonna check with FileZilla if these plugins has been removed like we thought. Then the plugin background image cropper has been abandoned. So we're gonna delete this from your website. I think this and using the admin user could be the cause of all these troubles. Gonna delete it, yes. Then we're going to scroll down. Uh, is this one removed? Yes, all the files inside of it has been removed, but the, this still remains. So we're gonna delete it. Also clean it, yes. Go, all these things seem to be okay. Let's go to themes and let's check out what WordFence actually did. It deleted a lot of files, but some are still here. Also with this, some are still here. And this deleted all files, but not everything. So what are we gonna do? is we're gonna delete all these themes except for cadence, which they're cadence, cadence, I don't know, man. Just delete all these files except for the theme you're using. Delete it, press yes. Just wait a while while it's being deleted. I think we've cleaned this website out. Let me see if everything still works the way it should work. Well, what do we see is when we click on another page like this, you see the 404 not found page. Why is this? Because of the HD access files has been changed by the attack. You can fix this really easy. Just go to settings, go to permalinks over there. And then we're going to press save changes. Make sure this is on post name and press save changes again. 
Then the permalink structure has been updated and if all is good, when I open it now in a private window and I go to another page, you will see that everything works the way it should. So we definitely cleaned this site, but it still needs to be secured. Make sure to follow my tutorial about WordPress security on iThemes because this website is still a sitting duck for hackers. If you have any questions or you just want to say thank you, Matt, drop them down in the comments. I'll always reply. Subscribe over there if you want to see more WordPress related videos and check out this video, which is also again completely hacked. Uh, hacked? I mean, not hacked.